and then again next lab session okay uh, i would like to invite uh, arun kumar sir for lab session and uh, all participants uh, i will uh, please check the email uh, lab 3 details send your uh, email id all participants please check your mail the information and related files are available in your mailbox so please before starting the lab you should have those files okay dr dr arun please Okay. Welcome you all. Uh, so today I'm going to talk about uh, a run of uh, some FPS file. So here I'm going to discuss uh, silicon file, uh, means uh, uh, this uh, uh, band structure uh, and density of states of uh, this silicon. So here is the SPF file. I think all of you have copied it from your mail. First of all, I am going to discuss this FPS file with you all. So I think my screen is visible to all of you. Yes, sir. So, screen is visible. Visible. Okay. Yes, sir. So the system, system name, the system level, then number of atoms. Here I am taking two. The coordinates of one atom and the coordinates of two atoms, and. These are the lattice factors of SP, as I talked earlier in the last lecture. 0.5, 0.5, and here it is 0.5, and here it is 0.5. And silicon, the structure of silicon is diamond-like. So, if I see diamond, so what is a diamond? Diamond is basically when two SPC lattices are merged. Into one another, and another to the one foot along the body diagonal.
So this is one aspect of lattice lattice is in that. And there is another aspect of lattice. It is a body diagram. So it is the one fourth part of this body diagram. One, two, three, and four. So that means another is must one fourth. Right. Either this way or that way. So. So this is the body diagram. So, so one atom is lying here, and another atom is lying at here. So it is at the body diagonal, at the one fourth position. So its coordinates are zero point five, zero point two five. These are the fractional coordinates I am using here, so along body diagonal, and its coordinates are zero, zero, and zero because for per SPC lattice there is one atom. Contributing for primitive cell because I am using primitive cell. So that means one atom is sitting here and another atom is sitting here. So that's why I write down these two coordinates here. And this is the experimental lattice form. This is the experimental value. Right. So this is the structural information. Then. After this, This is basis size. What type of basis you are using? So generally, D Z P is the best choice, and P O energy shift is a very important parameter. You can set it by energy conversion. You can start from hundred and E V. And then 90 and so on to the lowest value at which there is energy conversion. If energy converges at the lower value, energy converges at lower value. So 20 mV is the best choice. And the same correlation functional I am using GGA and GG as well is its labor. And for magnetism, you can use spin polarized too. As I mentioned in this FTF also, the maximum FTF self-consistent field iteration. So these are two thousand. You can also increase if it is not converging. But if it is converging at the lower values, it will automatically complete the simulation. Then density matrix mixing weight. So it tells us about the mixing of the previous step. It's mixing. So it is 0.10. Generally, default value 0.25. If if it will not convert, then you can write down it as 0.10 or even smaller. If convergence is uh, uh, not uh, going properly, then you can decrease this value also. These are the number of Coulomb Coulomb forces, and this is the flag for uh, default setting. Or you can manually also. Uh, Set the spin, but if you make it false, then it is it will run ferromagnetic calculation for you. And if it is true, then it is anti-ferromagnetic this for you. DM tolerance I have taken generally by default value is minus four, ten is super minus four. You can decrease it if you uh, want fine calculation, then you can decrease it. But ten is super minus six is sufficient. 
and 10 is equal to minus 5 is also good choice. But if things will not converge, then so 10 is equal to minus、uh, 4 is the default value in Swiftra. And these hash basically these are the comments. That means these are not the part of the program. Then. Next is match cutoff is again a very good parameter. So if you can also set it by, I think it was these things are told to you. I think yesterday by、uh, Professor Burma to、so、set it by NLP conversion. But 300 read work is a good choice. Then, it's a Fermi spring temperature. It's a 300 Kelvin. It's a good choice. And,、uh, you can also change SP, or you can say. And this is a solution method diagonalization. There is another choice of order n. Order n when the number of atoms is more than 100. So then you can use order n method. Then this is a very important block. So this is、uh, this block is for the band structure calculation. So the reciprocal edge structures we are using here, and these are the high friction points: gamma, L, K, W, X, U. And then gamma. These all are high smoothly points. You can see these high smoothly points in X crystal. This is the part of、uh, this what we call、uh, reciprocal space. Means、uh, these are some important points. In the reciprocal space, so these points are different for different lattices. For simple PC, for PCC, and for SCC, these lattice points are different. I tell you today, lectures. If I got some time.
So, this is the case sampling. So, how you integrate in the reciprocal case? So, these are the key points. So, if your system is three dimensional, then you have to see. So, I am simply writing it as 15 into 15 into 15 for three dimensional system. And if it is two dimensional system, then it is 1 into 15 into 15. And this is along vacuum region. One is along vacuum region. It means if vacuum is along x axis. As I told you earlier, if vacuum is along x axis, then your choice must be 1 into 15 into 15. Or sometimes people will take 1 into 7 into 7, depending upon. And I think Professor Verma told you that uh, how to choose k points, how many number of k points you have to choose. That, that is decided by uh, energy convergence. That you have to decide using energy convergence. Then for one dimensional system, means vacuum is along two directions. So it is 1 into into one so that means along x axis and y axis there is vacuum and if for zero dimensional system vacuum is in the all the direction so vacuum is along all the direction then you have to take one into one into one this is this is a uh, choice of this a grid monkov pack and then another important parameter is this one, right eigenvalue 2. And then it is a, basically projective density of state block. In density of state is also. So here I am taking minus 20 to 5 electron volt range up to which it will plot. And then 0, 0.0 to the facing in 1000 points we are taking. So this is a projective density of state block. And uh, I am not uh, discussing. Uh, other parameters in detail, which are given, but I discussed with you uh, every important point with you all, right? So now, what I will do, we will run the simulation, right? Now we will run the simulation. And pseudo potential file is also there in your folder directly given to you. So it is the SI dot CSS. Let me see this. So this is a functional we are using. It is a relativistic, it was written there. And here it is PB. So PB is basically uh, PBE. This PB is basically representing PBE. So that means I am using CBE pseudo potential CBE. So that means what I will do, I will make changes in it. So I am using simply CBE. At the offset, I am using CBE. So you can make changes in your because the type of pseudo potential you are using, the type of exchange correlation function you are using in the pseudo potential, same exchange correlation function you have to. Use or the uh, for the same exchange correlation function, you have to change the flag in, into the uh, into your FDFI. So that means that means up to this, I explained uh, to you this uh, FDFI and uh, talk about uh, that what type of exchange correlation functional you have to use. You have to use the same exchange correlation functional in the pseudo potential as well as in the FDFI. Right? This is a very important one. Sometimes what we will do, we will take a different exchange correlation functional in the FDF and uh, we can download pseudo potential from somewhere. So make sure that you will use the same exchange correlation functional in the CSS or as well as in the FPFI. So any up to this is everything clear to all of you? 
If any query up to this, then I I will try to answer. Otherwise, I will move further. So please respond. Up to this, if any query. If any query up to this point, then you have done all these things up to here. Am I audible? The answer. Okay. Okay. Uh, somebody is asking double zeta, single zeta, and then triple zeta. So single zeta is a very crude calculation. It's used for crude calculation. Uh, and uh, if we if we take S Z P, so that means polarization will also be there. So so S Z P is little bit. It will take more time to convert, but it gives you better results. And if you use D Z. Without polarization or using polarization, better you will use S Z P or D Z P because when you include P also, so that means spin or rest of the parameters are taken care. And if you use triple zeta P polarized D Z P, then Uh, then uh, triple uh, uh, that is a uh, that will take a lot of time for conversion. So th that is better. You will use uh, D Z P and D Z P gives you better approximation. It's little bit faster and better. But if you use S Z P, then that is much more faster, but uh, never gives you better result. And triple T Z P or triple zeta that is basically very much faster. Uh, sorry, very much slower. So better you should go for this D Z P. And uh, you are asking for uh, pseudo potential generation. I will tell you that how to generate the pseudo potential. So let us have a brief uh, review that how to generate the pseudo potential. So as I told you that how to install atom program earlier. So this is the path of the atom program. And if you go to tutorials inside tutorials, see, it is a tutorial. Atom is installed on your system. Most of you have done it because I told in the first lecture. So if you go to the PS generation, it will contain so many files: S I, titanium, or order N. So what we will do? Let me explain some file with you. Then I will run to the potential with you. So if you go to the PS generation, there is input file. Let us have a look at any input file. So let me take example of this. Here are a bellberry flavors available in this.
be this labels are the label let us have a look at this pi s pi underscore t m two so this is pseudo potential generation one thing is very important in pseudo potential generation it's the column specific every column has its meaning it was uh, mentioned in the uh, document file of hackam program theek okay? hai so means if you change this pg to another column so either backward or the forward it will not run properly it's a column specific it's not a free data format yes there is a free data format file so it's not so trollier martin flavor you are using and this is the logarithmic radii we are using right then what type of atom you are taking you are taking the silicon silicon here he is using cr separately elder relativistic r is basically relative then this is 3 this is 4 so ye this is this three is basically this tells us you about the core and this is the balance orbital balance orbitals always taken as four so it is 3s2 3 it is 3s2 this is 3p2 and this is 3d0 and it is 4f zero because b and f orbitals are empty in case of this and these are the cut off radii for s orbital this is for the p orbital this is for the d orbital and this is for f orbital and these are basically core flag these two are used for this core correction means if you incorporate certain part of core if you make these 0.00 and 0.00 and here if you write pe in place of pe if you write down pe here that means you are using core correction so are things clear to you up to this you have to understand your input file everything is written in the ata manual but i try my best to explain this so up to this means regarding this input file you have any query i have make a input file for silicon so what i will do i will make a directory si underscore test inside the tutorial uh, sorry inside the ps generation and here i pasted a input file which i made you can copy any input file and you can make changes according to your own, own choice right so here see it is ce so that means i am using core correct core correction i am incorporating core correction and here you can also take it as 00 and then it is si pbr pb is for pbe s pbe r is a relativistic trollier martin i am using and this is the core correction you are using and these are the cut off radii for different orbital i am not going to talk about in detail here about this but uh, so this is simply a ruler and this is simply a ruler see this is zero this is zero this is zero this is zero so it will this ruler will tell you whether you have placed things at proper place or not this will help you a lot right so let me run this uh so what uh, what should i do so i have made a directory si underscore test so now you are sitting inside ps generation and you have a directory is si dot test and it contains a file si dot imp which i made this is a file 
so how to run say you have to use s x s x double dot slash double dot slash util directory is there two directories out and here it is cd dot s s then c dot i m p no sorry not c dot but s i dot i m okay this symbol yeah please note this command and then enter it gives no error here otherwise it will write down something here other than if you got these two lines that means your pseudo potential is recorded properly means generated properly see see so in 2 3 minutes you will try to do this uh i think narender will mail you si dot ilp uh, and try to install or try to generate your own pseudo potential in 2 3 minutes and then i will do further And if if you don't have any input file, say, then let me try to uh, do one more thing. Say, uh, if you go to Silicon directory, which is there given to you in the or any directory, say, let me go to the Carbon directory, right? Which was given. So here. HSC flavor is also there, TM2 flavor is also there. So I am running this input file, right? So what is the procedure to do it? SH, SH double dot slash double dot slash util cg dot sh and then c dot tm2 dot inc. I am running this command, right? 
so if you enter that output data in the directory p.tm2 and these are the pseudo potential different format bps format is also there psf format is also there psml format is also there so what type of file you need according to your code because this is the pseudo potential based codes are so many so different codes will require different file format so fiesta will use a this file c.tmc.psm means it will require a psf file so you can try to run all these and and i explain to you that what is the uh, what is there in the input file So are you getting that what I am talking? So yeah, you have to use this. I am not talking about uh, that uh, how, how to uh, that what is uh, what information contained all this, but this file is used. right so testing is another field you can see manual for this also right because uh, pseudo potential will require a full day next you know full length lecture so that we can explain it and everything so now i am again coming back to our simulation so what i will do i will run fiesta s i e s t a means i have to run this s i dot s t s c s i dot out this is the command fiesta this and this the file which are given to you these are the two files given to you si.fps and si.psf these are given to you right so psf is there so i but first of all let me check whether uh, this is si.fps just minute let me check it exchange correlation flavor yeah pbe is there not a pbe as well Okay, so the command is fiesta s i dot s p f s i dot out. So this is the command. Not not kept the executive file, sir. You can use this command. I did different command, but you will need this command. Yeah, this is the command which you have to use. S I E S K S I dot S P S S I dot out. You can use this. बट For that, uh, executive file should be kept in the folder. Right? Otherwise, you have to mention the path of the CSS executive. Sir, your audio is not clear. Why is it not clear? So, uh, 
You can send your message in the chat box. I will try to answer. So, I think your uh, uh, Fiesta EXE is sitting here. If you go to this folder OBJ and then copy this Fiesta EXE file from here to user local bin, this is the command. Then from everywhere you can run Fiesta. From everywhere you can run Fiesta. So, Jyotirmar, I think I answered your question. I answered your question or not? Are you satisfied? Hello? Hello? You can make You know that. So, what is your query? Okay, the simulation is running. In two, three minutes, it will be over. Are you running this or not? So please respond. Okay. you have any query up, uh, for some time, then I will try to answer because uh, the simulation is on the way. It will take some time to convert. So I will try to answer your question.
if you have any query you can ask Somebody is asking question regarding uh, pseudo potential. What you do Yeah. So if I go to silicon, not silicon, but silicon test, if I go. We have input file and this is pseudo potential file. If you go to this silicon directory, which is formed during the installation, uh, during the running of this code, if you see this uh, out file, this out file is here. Uh, yeah, this is out file. Then this contains every information which is being polarized. The nuclear charge. So these are the eigen values. for different orbitals. And you have to compare these eigenvalues. So you have to compare, say it is uh, and B, total number of meters of reaction. Okay. This is all electron calculation. This is all electron calculation. And last one is uh, for it is uh, 0 0.794. Okay. Yeah, it is. So these are the eigenvalues. You have to compare these eigenvalues. When you compare these eigenvalues, these must be closer to each other. Above one are the all, all, all electrons, and this is the pseudo potential which you are using. So if you compare, if all are almost up to decimal third to fourth place, if they are almost identical, then you can see that your pseudo potential is. This is the one test you can do. And another thing which you have to do, there are some Files are also there, potentials.cplot, potentials or uh, pseudo.cplot. Let me go to this one. Let me try to plot it. So, GNU plot, if you give command GNU plot, pseudo.cplot or pseudo.cps, then it will give you a PS file. Right? So if I open this PS file here, 
if you go to here because it converted this sudo dot gps into sudo dot ps and let me try to understand this file also yes what is there inside it so this is your all electron wave function this is your all electron wave function for l is equal to 0 means for, for 3s yes. and this is a sudo wave function it must match with it after certain cut off radii both must be identical right and this is the pseudo potential in the real space and this is in the reciprocal space in the or in the fourier space and similarly for l is equal to 1 it must match after certain cut off radii if it is matching and need not to worry about all these because there are no electron is sitting in the uh, d and the f orbital so we have to worry about this and you have to reproduce certain properties then you can say that your pseudo potential is tested this is a way first of all to see the eigen values of the energy of all electron and uh, uh, pseudo potential eigen values in the out file you have to compare that and after that you have to reproduce certain properties say if i am uh, uh, talking about silicon then you have to reproduce its properties which are known to you and then you have faith in your pseudo potential then you can proceed further if it is not reproducing you keep on playing with uh, cut off radii for different orbitals then you keep on changing you will uh, when you get the right pseudo potential then you can do that for different so i think i try to answer your question this is way that how we look at this so are you satisfied okay so now uh, another thing which is here there is some utility utilities in csa if you go to util uh, there is band utility i compiled earlier so using this glue band you can convert your dot band file into another format so that it is readable and it is plottable right so what you will do you copy you do one thing copy glue band into user local bin so that everywhere you can give a command you have to copy this gnu band into user local bin so that at from everywhere where you are sitting you can use this utility so you can copy this from here to there then after that if you use that so it is a si dot band this for so we have to change this or let us have a look at this si dot band first of all yes sir let us have a look at this band five first of all it contains fermi energy this is very important this this is the fermi energy right 5.478 it is a 5.478 with the negative sign then you go down 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 and these are the positions of the high sigma point these are the positions of the high sigma point gamma l j w x u and the gamma this is very important so i am also writing this gamma at 0.00 L at 0.530 and K at 0.905, W at 1.121, X at 1.427, and then U at 1.644 and gamma at 2.29. Right?
so i convert this si dot band sorry input file name key say i am making a data file of the band so let me name it is band dot you can when you can see this note it clearly note down or take screenshot and then enter so it will make a file band dot dat in front of you it's a band dot dat this file bi band dot dat you can plot this band dot dat also right so i am using xm grace band dot dat here so this is the band structure of this silicon so you will take a uh, little time to plot it in the if you have any query then narendra will answer you if, uh, regarding this up to this point and then i will proceed further so please uh, take two to three minutes up to this if your simulation is over and then we will try to plot this band structure So have you done up to this? Okay. So the Fermi energy value I have written is the five point five point. Uh, it is uh, four seven eight. So I have to shift. So because nothing is visible from this. So I go to the Yes. Uh, okay. First of all, I shift the Fermi energy. So I go to the evaluate expression from data transformation. Then transformation is evaluate expression. I select every set in the left side, and in this, and you have to.
shifts to the fermi energy y is equal to because i am shifting along x axis so y is equal to y plus uh 5.478 5.478 so this is a fermi energy right so this is fermi energy i have shifted one time right i have i made the transformation along y axis and then uh i have taken the axis because now fermi is set at zero if it is set at zero so the, what i will do i will make it as say minus 3 to 3 because i have to see the bands near the fermi energy so i set the this uh, axis change of the y axis to c uh, sorry let me make it minus 10 to 10 i think that will be much better yeah minus 10 to 5 and so this is the band structure let me make it darker so that means there is a band gap from here to here this is a band gap this is a band gap from here to here this is the indirect band gap this is the indirect band gap So silicon is the indirect band gap material. And it is at uh, round about 1.5 and 1.5 it is a x x position. It is a high symmetry point is x is here. You can draw high symmetry lines here also. You can draw manually or say it is x which is somewhere here x is lying somewhere here. And uh, l is at uh, 0.530 so 0.53 is somewhere here so you can draw 0.53 line here then uh, k is at 0.905 so k is 905 is somewhere here k point is somewhere here and w is 1.12 so 12 is Here W one point one two point will be somewhere here. Yeah, you can draw in this manner. And one point four two will be somewhere here. Then one point six four is one point six four is somewhere here. This is a U. Yeah, it is. U point will be here. and then there is another gamma point so i will simply access property so let me take access at the last gamma point so it is 2.29 so if i make it as 2.29 i am doing little bit faster okay so this is uh, what so but these points are little bit shifted again So if this is the way that how we look at this band structure, right? You can fix these lines, but on X and Grace, but one more lecture is required. So I'm not uh, going to talk about about X and Grace here in more detail. But this is the way that. how we look at this section b right so then this is the band structure and this is the file which i have already made with these high symmetry points right this is l this is k this is w this is x q and this so, so this is the band structure of actual band structure and it's the uh, uh, energy band gap is uh, i think around about 0.7 and actually is 1.1 i think so it is under estimating this but we are able to see that this is a semiconductor material
So up to this is any query. And there is somebody is uh, asking that how to rotate the axis in X and gray. So for that, I will tell you that axis is at your own choice. Uh, if you go to a range graph and take it duplicate, you can take there is another more graph, and you can by dragging you you can separate it out, right? And delete the left the whole of the data. So you can plot here projected density of states are, are also inside it. So let me see that how projected density of states are plotted in it. There is a file p dot is there, right? It contains all the information of projected density of or the total density of state, right? So, what I will do, I will go to the utility concept and the postnico. So, SMP dot, you again copy SMP dot. This utility into user local bin, right? If you copy, it will be there. Then, what you will do? You run smp dot command here. You run command fm. P dot here, Yeah. So SMP dot this is asking for the input file name. So in, input file name is SI dot P dot. Right. Output file name say I am making a dos dot that file. Right. Extract data for atom index or enter the atomic number or zero to select all. So that means I am looking for the total density of states. So I will Put zero, and for what principal quantum number you are looking for? So I am looking for all the principal quantum numbers. So you uh, write down zero, and then it will give you a file named dot dot dash, and you can plot this using this uh, XM grace, right? So if you go to XM grace and select this part, if you select this curve, and then go to here in the data import. A S P I I two. So dot dot that file will be sitting here. Mm, okay, let me do one thing. Let me save it first of all, and then open it again. Xm grace. Then dot A D R. Right. Yeah. So I go to data. I import it. When I import it, it is dot dot dot. So star dot dot will help you out. So it is a dot dot dot. I exported it, but it's not a single set. It is a block data because I want energy along y axis. So I simply block data. And if you take x for two and y for one, you can choose it manually from which axis. Oh, sorry. Uh, I selected the wrong graph, so I'm not saving it. Just minute, then. 
yeah this is the graph so imports this dot dot dash single set you will take block data and then block data you will get two and this yeah so this is the density of two right and this you have to again shift it you have to shift it when you shift it so you have to again take uh, use of this transformation data because you have to again change it y is equal to fermi at zero y is equal to y plus 5.478 so and the pin axis range should be similar for band and the dot so axis property you go to the y axis y axis from minus 5 to 5 minus 5 to 5 so see here you again see the band band gap also at this at the fermi energy because fermi energy is at zero so this is a way that how we uh, can plot uh, density of states and the band structure simultaneously so have you done up to this is answer So I think up to this it's more than sufficient. So today we have learned uh, how to plot band structure, how to plot density of states, and how to generate your own pseudo potential. And I try to explain um, every aspect of input file of the which is needed for the pseudo potential generation. I'm a short, but I tried my best. I I um, I, I expect that you have learned something. And if you require a patient, if you work with patients, you will learn. It's a very simple. Read manual carefully, and you you can learn each and every thing. It requires some patience. Okay, Fermi velocity. It uh, it cannot tell you that Fermi velocity. It tells you Fermi energy only, as I know. I never think that it will give you uh, the Fermi velocity. And it will never give you a better estimate that Fermi energy. That's why we will uh, shift it to a zero uh, Fermi energy. We will shift it to zero so that we can see around that. This is basically Fermi energy, basically a reference level. So we are shifting it to the zero level so that when we are comparing so many different data available. To, because I have never seen paper on CS on which they are talking about the Fermi energy. So in everywhere it is uh, basically set at zero. That's why it is set at zero because it's the type of reference level. I think so. So, Mandir, are you satisfied with my answer? Thank you for your patience that you have listened me. Last few days you are listening. Hello. Hello. 
ओके थैंक यू टू ऑल एंड आवर स्पीकर्स एंड पार्टिसिपेंट्स एंड सक्सेसफुली कंप्लीट द थर्ड डे इन अटल एफ डी पी एंड थैंक यू नरेंद्र आल्सो ओके टुमारो इज रिशेड्यूल दिस आवर प्रोग्राम एंड डॉक्टर रवि पांडे सर इज डिलीवर द लेक्चर फोर थर्टी पी एम ओके एंड ओके Thank you to all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.